Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and I'm a fourth year business student at McGill University. Today, it is Friday. I am going to be heading out to meet my friends very soon because we have a pretty exciting day planned. This morning, we are going to all head over to a bakery that we've been wanting to try out. It's called Patrice Patissier and it's run by this very famous pastry chef. Quick backstory on why we're going there. One of my favorite chefs, Lucas San, was in Montreal a few days ago and this is one of the ones that he was just raving about. So so I was doing some research earlier and found out that you actually have to pre-order everything at the bakery and a bunch of stuff was already sold out by the time that I checked online. So all of us made some orders and we're gonna go pick up our orders from the bakery very soon. And then afterwards, I think I'm just going to get some work done in that area and probably just hit up a cafe because I don't really go over there too often. It's near the Lionel Gru metro station and Atwater Market. It's a little bit further out of the little McGill bubble that I stay in usually. So I'm really excited to head over to that area and there's a bunch of cute cafes there so I'm really excited to check some out. finally back after a very very long day out this morning we went to patrice patissier everything there was incredible and the place closes in august because i think like covid and just like being a small business so i'm really glad that i got to try that before they close afterwards we all kind of split up and i went to a cafe nearby i was gonna go to september cafe but they were really full so i went to lily and ollie instead after that i went to super c and then i went to atwater market on my way home i was walked past Le Roi du Wonton, which is like this Taiwanese restaurant that I've been wanting to try for a really, really long time, but they're only open like four days a week and I'm never in that area on like Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, or Friday. So I picked up some takeout. I got their wonton noodle soup, which I've been craving for like literally six months. So I'm really glad that I finally get to try this. I'm going to eat this probably on the couch with Celine. And then we need to take our rapid test today because we have a retreat tomorrow that we want everybody to be tested for so that we don't spread COVID. It is a little later now. I had my dinner on the couch and just chatted with Celine for a while and then we took our COVID test. We both tested negative, which is awesome. And I just hopped off of a Zoom call just now with my group project for my marketing research class to discuss our final report, which is due really soon. But tonight I think I'm just gonna take it chill and have a nice little wine night with Celine and watch some Netflix. We finished binging the season two of Bridgerton yesterday and it was so freaking good. And I just started watching a new K-drama called Business Proposals. Good morning, it is Saturday and today I have my last event for my club HKSN. This evening we are going to be having our final retreat bonding where usually we will rent a cabin in like the woods somewhere near Montreal but this year because a lot of people aren't available to do a whole trip and drive over there we just rented an Airbnb in the city and it's just gonna be like a big sleepover basically. We're just gonna be having a potluck dinner and then we're gonna have our last meeting and 
exec send off where we say goodbye to all of the execs that are leaving and graduating. So it's gonna be really emotional. But this morning I do have someone coming over to view the apartment very soon. So I'm gonna vacuum and clean up and make sure that the apartment looks nice. And then afterwards, I think I'm just going to finish the noodles that I had for dinner yesterday. It is almost 4.30 now. I've just literally spent the entire day on the couch travel planning for my summer. But now I'm about to head out to go to our event tonight. So I need to pick up the food that I'm bringing for the potluck, which I'm going to be getting Bustan potatoes, which are the most incredible garlic potatoes ever. And then also hit up SAQ. So that's what I need to do before we get to the Airbnb, but I'm about to head out. So I'll see you there. morning it is sunday today last night we went to bed super late at like six in the morning and we just woke up at like 10. we got four hours of sleep amanda's back here say hi <laughs> <laughs> well, we are just about to check out of our Airbnb because we have to check out before 11 so we're just cleaning up now Okay, we're leaving now. We're gonna go get lunch at Yinji. See you. Bye. home i changed into a slightly different outfit and now we are gonna go head over to a cafe to study apartment after studying at the cafe for around five hours with my friend Alina. I'm not particularly a big fan of the cafes on Park just because a lot of the cafes on that street have a lot of like weird policies to make sure that people don't stay too long in the cafe. So at Chai Tea Lounge, their policy is like if you buy one drink, you're allowed to stay for one hour. And then if you buy like three drinks, you're allowed to stay for like three hours. I'm gonna go make myself some dinner. My meeting that I had at five got postponed. So I am gonna take that at 6.30. 
morning. It is Monday today and last night I went to bed relatively early because I was so dead from not getting very many hours of sleep earlier. So I passed out at like midnight and today I woke up around 10, just got ready. And today I am planning to do some more cafe hopping with my friend Kelly because that is my entire personality. So today we are planning to go to Cafe Constance, which is like this, I think it's like a new cafe that's opened up. So I'm really excited to try out this new one with Kelly, but this morning she just sent me this event that they're actually holding at Gertz, which is the McGill Campus Bar. They're partnering with Anti Cafe, which is one of the cafes that I've been to near Place des Arts to offer like free coffee and snacks and stuff. So we're gonna go hit that up first because it's on my way anyways. Today is a very, very busy day. I have three classes today from 1 to 9 p.m. Tonight for my 6 to 9 lecture, I have a presentation that I need to do. I need to attend all of my classes today because the first two, even though I'm not presenting, they do mandatory attendance for presentation day. back at my apartment now. I had a really great day today. It was so nice outside. So between my classes, I went over to Lower Field and just enjoyed the campus vibes. I got a hot dog from the hot dog man who is an iconic feature of McGill campus. And now I am home for a little bit. I'm just making myself a little bit of dinner. It is 9 p.m. I am back home after my very long day of classes. I did my presentation in class today. It went okay, but I'm just glad that it's over, honestly. I'm gonna go change and work out with my friend Katie and then probably get some work done. I have a paper that I need to write that I still have not even really started yet. Morning, it is Wednesday. I have a lot of school work to do today. I need to write my research proposal and work on all my group projects and stuff. So I'm probably gonna head over to a cafe very soon, but first I'm just going to eat and then head out to meet my friends at the cafe. I'm finally back home after a long day out. I went to Cafe Nocturne this morning with my friends and it was so nice. It's probably one of my favorite cafes that I've been to in Montreal. And I will be coming out with a vlog very soon about all of my favorite cafes because I've been to, I think, over 20 at this point. And I really need to put together this vlog because I've been telling my friends that I'm gonna make it for like the past, I don't even know how many months and I still haven't. So that is coming out very, very soon. As soon as all of like my final projects are done, I will make that video. I promise. But yeah, that was a really fun cafe. And then afterwards I just went grocery shopping and then I went to chill at my friend Kelly's place for a little bit before I head over to the gym with her and we played badminton during the little drop-in session, which was really fun. And now I am home. I just finished eating dinner and now I have a call for my group project because we're presenting tomorrow. So we need to rehearse our presentation. Good 
morning, it is Thursday and today I have a pretty busy day because I have two final presentations that are both happening today but I'm only presenting for one of them so I am just practicing right now. I just made myself a giant salad which I'm gonna have for lunch and then I'm going to head over to Bronfman to practice my presentation with my group. <music> I am back from a very hectic afternoon today during my second class for my group presentation. I wasn't one of the presenters, but one of our group members backed out last minute, so I needed to fill in for her. And it was just a mess, but I'm just glad it's all over, honestly. Like, I'm basically done everything. I need to start studying for my final. But just to de stress after this very stressful afternoon, I am going to make myself some dinner and just enjoy cooking and listening to some music. I just finished working out with my friend Katie and catching up with her and for the rest of the night I'm probably just going to be editing and calling my family maybe so I'm gonna close out the vlog here thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more videos of my life here in Montreal as a McGill University student I only have a few weeks left in the city so I am going to be trying to make the most of it so make sure to stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you in the next one bye